Martha Ballard was born in 1735 in the city of Oxford, Massachusetts. The real story of her life didn't begin until she moved to Maine and started a diary that she kept from the age of 50 and for the next 27 years until her death in 1812. Her entries helped us understand 18th century America from a woman's perspective. Without her diary, we wouldn't know as much about her life and all of her accomplishments that proved women in her day could be fit for a medical profession. She got married to Ephraim Ballard in 1754, and they had a total of nine children together. Unfortunately, three of her children died from a diphtheria epidemic. Martha, Ephraim, and the rest of her six children moved to Hallwell, Maine, in 1785. From her diary, we can learn about her life as a midwife, mother, and healer. She became a well-respected citizen in her town, and the people really depended on her. She gained her knowledge of midwifery and domestic responsibilities from her aunts, sisters, and mother. Throughout her diary, she writes about her daily activities, babies delivered, illnesses treated, family issues, and of goings-on in the town. Martha Ballard midwifed a whopping number of 816 births. It was not always easy for her to reach her destinations that needed her assistance. She had to journey on foot or cross a river by canoe or sometimes even travel by horseback to attend to her duties as a midwife. Her work often kept her away from her family for up to days at a time. Though she was a renowned midwife, she also had other tasks she had to complete. As a wife, Martha had to perform tasks such as tending the garden and keeping the house clean. As a mother, she had to raise her nine children. In conclusion, Martha Ballard a was a good work example is never of done. the saying, Without her diary, we most likely wouldn't have known about the extraordinary work this one woman did. She really outdid herself by always staying committed to working hard and making a huge impact in her community.